this is what we woke up to this morning. It's 8 a.m. We're waking up to work out and it snowed last night. I think it's going to continue to snow all day. to the gym um, I've been working out from home all week and it was a nice break to be honest it was like going back to basics kind of got me into the whole routine again um, but now Jim is going to work out in the mornings before he's gonna try yeah he's gonna try to work out in the mornings before he goes to work so I'm like you know what I might as well join him because it gives me the motivation to get down here when he's going to be here anyways. Like, why would I stay upstairs in bed when he's going to be down here anyways? Motivation. I always forget. I always look up here instead of over here. You have here. to look down there. I look up here when when you're there and you're talking. I look up there to look at you. But, oh my God, my hair is so, the roots are your, so greasy. Your, your eyes are so blue this morning. They're always blue. They're much more blue. They're always blue. They're, they're barely opening, though, because I'm... <laughs> So Jim is in the shower and I'm just going to pour us a bowl of cereal. Um, I just want to show you guys that we got new bowls because my old bowls were so deep that we were eating. And I like to fill my plate and fill my bowl with food. Just, I guess that's part of my eating disorder. So I would always fill it up and it'd be like two, three times the portion. So I got these shallow bowls for Christmas and you can tell by the spoon, like they're a lot smaller. So this has been helping me uh, with my portions. We also got like new plates as well and they're a lot smaller than my old plates. My old plates were huge, it was like a platter and I was filling my plate up with food, right? So anyways, um, this is Jim's favorite cereal lately, Raisin Bran, so he's gonna have that. And you all know my favorite cereal, the Nature's Path Organic, the Blueberry Cinnamon Flax. It's so good and crunchy. So a lot of cereals just have fiber, but what I like about my cereal is that it has nine grams of fiber, nine grams of protein, and 15 grams of whole grains. Like, it's more well-rounded, plus omega-3s. Like, I love it. When you want your dog to pose, hold his toy. Just hold it near the camera. That's what I always do. I get a treat or a toy and I hold it near the camera and he looks wherever I want him to look. Aren't I genius? Good job, Ollie. You want it? You want it? The restraint is amazing. Take it. <laughs> Enjoy. Hey guys, so I've been doing laundry all morning. Um, don't mind my hair. This is what it looks like when I wash it, brush it out, and let it air dry without any mousse or oils or anything, so it's kind of frizzy. It looks more normal the next day once I sleep on it. Anyway, so I've just been doing like loads of laundry, folding, putting away in drawers, and that over and over again. So this is the last load and I'm done.
Lucy. You're chilling out in your bed in the middle of the day. Yeah? Are you bored because I'm doing laundry? Why are you statue? You bored because I'm doing laundry, huh? Oh, my little cutie. So lazy, just like mom. Yes, you are. So, update, Oliver's bum is all healed up. He poos and pees, all normal. No more issues, he's all good. So thank you so much for your concern. And sorry about saying the word bum like 52,000 times in my last video. <laughs> Someone was like, I've never heard the word bum in a video as many times as this video. Yeah, my cutie. My cutie. Look at that crazy beard. That crazy beard. There's Oliver, eyeballing my lunch. He thinks he's gonna get some if he waits patiently. No way, man, this is mine. So I'm having a nice big bean burrito. There's uh, black beans, corn, red peppers, uh, sour cream, salsa, cheddar cheese, lettuce. I didn't put rice today. Um, later I'm gonna have this little fruit to go thing. I picked up some at Walmart and they're really good. They're like these little 50 calorie, I'll show you what they look like after, but they're basically just like dried fruit. It tastes like candy, so I really love it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna chug water and I'm going to watch The Bachelor. Well, this one's only 45 calories. The other one, uh, this is banana strawberry. The other one was watermelon and strawberry. That was 50 calories. But I just like how it's all natural instead of these prepackaged foods that have all artificial, you know, flavors and sugars and preservatives. If you've ever had a fruit roll-up, that's exactly what this tastes like to me, honestly. Like, it tastes like candy, so... I think it peels, yeah. Well, not quite. But it just like, um, it was sweet and chewy. Exactly like fruit roll up, except it's real fruit. <laughs> Perfect for The Bachelor. And again, we have Oliver thinking he's gonna get some. You ain't. You're not gonna get any. I'm just gonna cut up this honeydew melon. Um, I always want fruit in the evening, like while we're watching TV and stuff, but I'm always too lazy to cut up fresh fruit, so I'm gonna do it now, put it in a bowl and keep it in the fridge so it's all ready, and yeah, no excuses, right? So, actually, it's easier to just cut it in little pieces like that first. hearing noises at the t television. I'm watching some sort of scary movie, but I haven't been paying too much attention. I've been mostly on my phone. So I just hear screams every once in a while. I also have these really, really ripe bananas. Overripe to eat, but they'll make the perfect banana ice cream. So I'm basically going to peel them and put them in these containers in the freezer. Like, when they're too mushy, to me they taste too fermented to, and too soft to eat regularly, but they're they're perfect for banana ice cream because they're super sweet. So if you don't like eating super ripe bananas, then just um, freeze them in pieces and put them in your food processor, blend it up, and it has the consistency and texture and taste of ice cream. I love it.
it's 7 30 um jim just texted me that he's on his way home but i'm so hungry i can't wait till he gets home he works an hour away so i'm gonna have a bowl of soup now um i'll probably just have a second bowl when he gets home because why not it's it's vegetable soup it's not crazy in calories if you notice while i was cooking my hand slipped when i was putting the chili flakes in so needless to say it's super spicy but it's delicious like very flavorful but it's one of those like <clears throat> you know kind of soups but so good um perfect for today because it's so cold and snowy as you saw this morning it's like the snow's gotten even like it's gotten to about 15 centimeters i believe so yeah um before I say goodbye, I just want to say thank you to those of you who have stuck by me because I've been off track a long time, um, but not for lack of effort. Every day I wake up and I try my best and like I'll work out and I'll plan healthy meals, but then I often slip up and get too far in the funk of like, oh man, I got too far off track. Oh man, my clothes are so tight, blah, blah, blah. And that just, that cycle kind of keeps you down. And that's what's been going on for so long. But the reason why I, you know, want to thank you now and all that is because I'm feeling good today. Um, I'm feeling positive today. And I have been all week. I have been since my last YouTube video where I said that I want to switch it up and do home workouts. That kind of helped me get back into a routine. And I mentioned it briefly this morning, but yeah, you know, a weight loss journey, even though it seems like a physical journey because it's what you're eating and it's what you're physically doing, um, it's really all a mental game. And no matter how many tools you have at your fingertips, if you aren't if you aren't in the right mind frame you will not be successful no matter what so it's been the struggle has been getting back into the right mind frame because i let too many days go by like too many weeks too many months go by uh where i just got too far off the journey and i knew that the only reason the only way i could get back is when i would um get enough good days in a row and I just wasn't getting enough good days in a row like I'd have a couple of good days and then it was someone's birthday party have a couple of good days and then it was Thanksgiving a couple of good days then Christmas New Year's blah 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 it was just constant since the honeymoon so um but I feel like this week has been good and um I'm proud of myself for for never ever giving up and for I think like what's helped is just never thinking that giving up was an option like quitting is not an option so every day I had to even if I screwed up the day before the next day I just had to get right back at it and try again even if I slipped up try again try again and um it just has to be that light bulb moment and I don't know what to tell you about you know what can motivate you you just have to keep trying and something will happen one day that will just click for you and yeah once you get a few days in a row a week in a like a week a good solid week i'd say is usually what helps me um you'll do it and i don't want to get ahead of myself because i haven't really done anything yet i haven't lost weight or anything i'm going to weigh in for my diet bet my diet bet starts on monday because people on instagram were noticing that i haven't really put my weight under my posts because i don't know i'm so scared because my clothes are so tight like i'm going back to the old uh bigger looser clothes that i was wearing before and that was scaring me so on monday uh, january 16th i'm weighing in for my diet bet and that's when I'm just going to face the number and go from there. So it's been good that this week I feel like I've gotten some sort of groove back and I've been healthy for a good solid week. Um, yeah, so...
thank you for sticking by me and you guys are awesome and I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me and if you did then hit that like button because it really helps me out subscribe if you're not already and we will see you in the next video guys bye